From the depths of obscurity to the pinnacle of golfing glory, Bailey's journey has been a roller coaster ride of triumph, turmoil, and unapologetic authenticity. In the annals of sporting history, there are few stories as captivating as that of John Daly. With two major championships under his belt, John Daly stormed onto the golfing world like a tempest defying all expectations. Despite being a golf legend and loved by many, it wasn't his unbridled talent that turned the heads of many. He estimates having lost between 55 to 57 million dollars in gambling from 1991 to 2007. Seven. That's right, you heard me correctly. The man who won two major championships and captured the hearts of golf fans worldwide also struggled with a crippling addiction to gambling that left him in financial ruin. But his gambling addictions weren't the only demons he battled during his career. In today's video, the legacy of John Daly beckons, and trust me, you won't want to miss a single swing on this epic adventure into the legacy of how he became one of the most beloved and controversial figures in golf. What impact his behavior had on the sport and career, and what is his legacy today? In the world of professional golf, John Daly needs no further introduction. Wild Thing, Long John, Big John, JD, or The Lion, as he is popularly known, was born in Carmichael, California on April 28, 1966. Despite the fact that he had an abusive father and a rough childhood, he displayed prodigious talent at the remarkable tender age of four when he took his first swing with a club his father gave him, unleashing a love affair with a game of golf that would endure a lifetime. Fast forward a few years when John was a bright-eyed 13 year old and something truly remarkable happened. He entered the Spring Club Championship going up against a field of adult male members and believe it or not he emerged victorious, defeating every single one of those experienced competitors. John's victory at that tournament had such a profound impact that it shook the very foundations of the club. They had no choice but to implement a policy banning juniors from future open club competitions. Following his years as a junior golfer, Daly elected to play golf for the Arkansas Razorbacks. However, despite his promising start, he began facing a few challenges along the way that ultimately influenced his decision not to complete his degree. These challenges stem from his excessive drinking and partying, which unfortunately impacted his attendance in class and clashed with his commitment to his coaches. Daly believed that he was good enough to turn professional and embarked on his infamous career as the bad boy of golf in 1987 prior to the completing of his four years at Arkansas. It didn't take him long to taste victory as a pro as he clinched his first professional win at the 1987 Missouri Open. From 1987 to 1989, Daly primarily played in minor events throughout the United States. However, he did enjoy some promising moments in early 1989 when he traveled to South Africa and competed in several Sunshine Tour events. He even played in a few PGA Tour events during this time and managed to make some headway, including a T14 finish at the 1989 Chattanooga Classic. He also achieved a major milestone by making the cut in his first major tournament, where he finished T69 at the 1989 US Open. However, everything changed for him when he had his biggest win in 1991 at the PGA Championship. He produced one of the most unforgettable and unexpected major performances of all time after he won his first PGA tournament as a major at Crooked Stick in Indiana. The ironic part is that he wasn't even supposed to play in the PGA Championship back then. But destiny had other plans for him. One of the big name players, Nick Price, had to drop out because his wife was about to have a baby. And guess who was the ninth alternate on the list? Yep, you got it, it was none other than John Daly. Daly wasn't exactly a well-known player at the time. He was a bit of an underdog, flying under the radar, and this was his coming out party. Daly showed up to Crooked Stick Club with little practice and low expectations. But he had something special, raw talent and an insane ability to hit the ball incredibly far, and boy did he make an impression. Daly made history by becoming the first alternate ever to win a major tournament. 
His stunning victory at the 1991 PGA Championship not only thrust him into the spotlight of the golfing world, but also rewarded him with a prize purse of over $200,000. Later in December of that same year, he was named the PGA Tour's Rookie of the Year. Daly's love for gambling began to increase with more money now at his disposal. Over the next 15 years, his gambling addiction would lead to staggering losses close to almost $55 million. In 1992, he started the year strong by winning the BC Open in June. However, it wasn't all smooth sailing for him in 1992. His playing style, which included taking risks and going for aggressive shots, led to inconsistent performances. Off the course, he faced personal struggles, particularly with alcoholism. He always enjoyed a drink right from a young age, but it was during his first few years as a professional golfer that his drinking habits started to escalate drastically. Fast forward to 1993 and 1994, things went downhill quickly due to his overindulgence in drinking. He was suspended from the PGA Tour from late 1993 to early 1994 due to his behavior, which included an incident during the 1993 Kapalua International where he walked off the course in the middle of a round. This incident, along with other episodes such as throwing his scorecard at the scoring tent and subsequently being disqualified at the Camper Open while walking off the course without informing his partners during the 1993 Southern Open led to his suspension. Recognizing the need for a change, Daly entered a three-week alcohol rehabilitation program in late 1993. After completing the program, he made a courageous return to the tour. In a significant personal triumph, Daly claimed victory at the 1994 Bell South Classic, declaring it his first win while sober. This win was particularly meaningful for him as it marked his third PGA Tour title and served as a testament to his commitment to turning his life around. The second major win of Daly's career came in 1995 at the British Open, held at the old course at St. Andrews, Scotland. St. Andrews is widely known as the home of golf with high respect for anyone who wins in front of the best fans in golf. This victory further solidified Daly's status as a golf maverick and confirmed his ability to perform on the biggest stages in the sport. The 1995 British Open was a closely contested tournament, with Daly showcasing his signature long drives and fearless shot making once again. Daly's talent alone didn't just put him on the PGA Tour's map, he also earned over $10 million during his career. Despite the challenges he faced off the course, Daly's talent in golf remained undeniable. His longest drives often exceeded 300 yards, making him the first PGA Tour player to achieve this average over a full season. But even as he reached the pinnacle of the sport, Daly's personal life was spiraling out of control. He went through multiple divorces, battled alcoholism and gambling addictions, and struggled to keep his weight in check. John hates drinking water on tour, and his addictions extend beyond gambling. He had an obsession with Diet Coke, consuming up to 20 cans a day, and amassing over 500 gallons per year. He also had a penchant for alcohol, consuming large quantities of beer and whiskey daily. It became so terrible that one day he was taken into custody by local police in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. In 2008, after he was found drunk at a Hooters and he promised to quit drinking. Sometimes, due to frustration and anger issues, he has thrown his putter and ball into a pond out of anger after the 18th hole during the 2002 Australian PGA Championship. He also smashed a fan's camera into a tree during the 2008 Australian Open. Despite being a polarizing figure in the game of golf, many fans still love seeing him play at various tournaments and often gets paid for appearances. Unfortunately, as Daly has aged, he was recently diagnosed with bladder cancer in 2020, but returned to the senior PGA Tour in 2021 after undergoing surgery and treatment. He continues to play golf professionally on the senior tour currently and has also been seen teaming up in the parent-child event with his son and standout golfer Little John Daly. 
Daly's turbulent personal life and controversial behavior has made him a polarizing figure in the world of golf. While some fans loved him for his unconventional approach to the game, others criticized him for his lack of discipline and respect for the sport. But despite the criticism, Daly remained true to himself and his love for the game. Despite his addictions and controversies, he continues to play golf, gets paid for appearances, and has even pursued a music career. His life serves as a cautionary tale about the perils of addiction, but it also highlights the undeniable talent and captivating personality. Despite the setbacks caused by his addictions, Daly left an indelible mark on the golfing world with his long drives and fearless approach to the game. His story is a complex tapestry of talent, addiction, redemption, and unyielding spirit. We have come to the end of this one. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, and we'll do the rest. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.